Hi guys, I am Miss Anna and it's an English lesson here. You've already learned a lot about secondary education in Great Britain and you know how to talk about it with your peers. And who knows, maybe you've even had an idea of entering a college in the UK in the future. It doesn't matter where you're studying now or where you're going to study after you finish grade 9 or school at all, but it is always necessary for any college and university to see if the applicants are active in different social spheres. It is very valuable when students participate in various social projects and develop their leadership and communication skills. Being an active volunteer is really beneficial in many ways. So, that's why today I'll teach you how to fill in an application form to join a social project. Before we get to the application form itself, let's focus on the words that may be a bit confusing to you. Volunteering is work for an organization without being paid. Let's check an example sentence. In my opinion, volunteering is an essential part of building a personality. A volunteer is a person who does something especially helping other people willingly. It is a person that volunteers. An example. Are there any volunteers to participate in a school play? Charity is an organization whose purpose is to give money, food or help to those who need it. It can also be a simple act of helping a person in need. Here's an example. An anonymous businesswoman donated one million dollars to the charity. As you could figure it out from the previous example sentence, to donate means to give money for charity. An application. You may know this word as it means a piece of software, like a program on your smartphone. But as we are talking about the social sphere and education, it means a formal request for a membership at a volunteering program, a college or a university. To fill in an application form means to complete a special document to apply for a position in an organization. Today, there are lots of different charity organizations that encourage student volunteers to participate in projects that help people in need of food or various support. You may know such organizations as UNICEF and United Nations Volunteer. These organizations help people. There are also organizations that help animals or even support culture. The most famous organization that protects animals is WWF. And UNESCO World Heritage Center helps to protect cultural heritage around the world. So, as you understand, there are quite a lot of organizations that give an opportunity to make the world better. Of course, to join such an organization as a volunteer, you have to apply first. Most organizations have an online application form. Usually, you need to type your personal details, such as your name, your email address, and your date of birth. Sometimes, you may need to describe your skills and any kind of experience. Here is a typical application form that can be found on volunteer management websites. The first line asks you to enter your name as it appears on an official document. You can rewrite it from your ID. Type your first name and then your last name. The next line asks you to fill in your date of birth. Letters DD are for the day, MM are for the month, and four Ys stand for the year of your birth. After that, you need to enter your email address. The next line asks you to confirm it. You should type your email address twice to make sure there are no mistakes in spelling. The lines password and confirm password require you to make up a password for your account on the website. 
Remember that it is highly important to create a secure password, which has capital letters or uppercase, lowercase letters, numbers, and special signs such as a question mark or an exclamation mark. When you fill in your details, you'll have to answer a question. How did you hear about us? You can simply write, I heard about your organization from the internet, or my friend is serving as a volunteer, and so on. In the last part, you have to specify if you want to serve as a volunteer in your country or abroad, or maybe both. If you're under 18, there are almost no chances that you serve as an international volunteer. So, you should choose national only. Now that you know what an application form is, you can practice filling it in with your personal information. Hope this will help you when you register to do some charity work and help the world become a better place. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.